Hello, today the garment industry is one of the largest industries in the world and in India, it is the industry that has the highest number of people employed under it. In this video, you'll see demonstration of pattern making which includes drafting, cutting and then stitching. To make any garment, one should always begin by taking measurements of the person the garment is intended to make for. We use these measurements to make patterns and we use these patterns to cut cloth and by that we stitch them. Thereby we get an entire garment. I wish you very good luck and now we begin by measurements. Proportions of human body The body is divided into eight equal parts. Hair to chin, chin to nibble, nibble to navel, navel to pubic organ, pubic organ to mid thigh, mid thigh to below the knee, below the knee to above the ankle, above the ankle, to toe. Some proportions generally differ in men's and women's body. The following main different features are valid for the women's body. Less body height, less shoulder width, a narrower chest, larger hip, limbs more delicate, torso a little bit longer and softer forms. Measuring techniques. When taking measurement, it is most accurate with garments worn to be plain and well fitted. Pull the tape firmly around the body, but not too tight. Keep it parallel to the floor. Measure always around the fullest part of each body area. Measurement chart Body measurements Natural waist Full length, shoulder, sleeve length, sleeve bottom or round arm, chest, bust, waist, hip, neck, across chest, across back, bust level, leg length, Inner leg length, knee length, body rise, round knee, round calf and round bottom. Sewing machine. Sewing machines are available in various models. It can either be domestic, tailor-made, portable, cabinet or industrial. They can either be operated by hand, treadle or motor. Hand machines are slower when compared to treadle and motor, but the stitches are fine and neat. A beginner finds the foot of the treadle machine easier to handle as the control of the speed is very easy when compared to the hand or the motorized machines. The invention of the sewing machine was a great progress in dress making as it made the stitches even, the dresses durable and the whole process a lot faster. The parts of a treadle sewing machine are common in more or less all sewing machines. They are as follows. Thread guide. This holds the thread in position from the spool to the needle. Tension disc. This is a simple mechanism where two concave discs are put together with the converse sides facing each other. The thread pauses between the two, the spring and the nut which increases or decreases the pressure of the thread. Take up lever. This is to feed the thread to the needle and to tighten the loop formed by the stitch. Face plate. It's a removable side cover which gives access to the oiling parts. Needle bar. It's a steel rod which holds the needle. Presser foot. is attached to the presser bar and it holds the cloth in position. Bobbin case. Moves into position to catch the top thread and forms the stitch. Presser foot lifter is the lever attached to the presser bar for raising and lowering the presser foot. Stitch regulator. This controls the length of the stitch. Bobbin winder. It facilitates the winding of the thread 
on the bobbin. Stop motion screw. It is the center of the flywheel and it engages and disengages the stitching mechanism. Slide plate. It is a rectangular plate that can be slide open to remove or insert the bobbin case. Needle plate or throat plate is a semi-circular plate with a hole to allow the needle to pass through. Feed dog. It consists of a set of teeth fitted below the needle plate. Sewing machine needles are of various types. The types depend upon the fabric used and the type of thread used to stitch. The upper part of the needle is called a shank and the lower part of the needle is called a shaft. The sizes range from 9 to 19. When selecting the needle, one should remember that the finer the weight of the fabric, the finer the needle should be. 3 thread overlock machine. Securing the raw edges of a seam allowance with overlock machine is a very fast way of finishing. Overlock machine can also be used to two pieces of fabric together. It cuts the edges and secures them in one operation. Parts of the machine. Needle bar. Thumb screw. Thread cutter. Presser foot. Needle. Tension set for needle. Tension set for under looper. Cloth plate. Slide cover, hand wheel, feed ratio, sight glass, lower and upper knife. Care and maintenance of the machine. Regular cleaning, oiling and care of the machine ensures satisfactory sewing and a long life for the machine.